So this used to be me. Since changing my routine, this is now me. Oh my god, I'm so cheesy, it hurts. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. Welcome to day number five of my 12 days to Christmas. Normally I don't film on the floor of my room if you're new to my channel, unless we're doing like vlogs or something. Sit down videos are normally more professional than this, but it was such a beautiful day and like so bright and sunny in here that I just felt inspired to film in here. And also Wyatt was laying in here and he was so cute and I just didn't want to leave him alone. If you're new to my channel, join the family and never miss an upload. So today's video is a part two to a video that I filmed not too long ago and it's how to be a morning person and just all my morning tips, all my best tips. And a lot of you guys said that that video really helped you out with just overall being a morning person. I thought that I would follow up that first video with how to be a morning person with how to go to bed early and how to fall asleep fast because a lot of you guys are saying that it's easier to be a morning person than it is to go to bed early or now you've come up with a really good routine and a really good schedule with getting up early but you still find yourself tossing and turning in bed or something like still in you wants to stay up late. So in this video I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 tips on how to go to bed early, how to fall asleep fast and that way you guys can have a more successful morning routine and feel like you got enough sleep and just overall feel amazing. Okay so tip number one is I recently started doing some later in the night workouts. A lot of you guys know from my channel that I love to work out first thing in the morning because that is when I have the most energy but recently I did join a gym to be able to take a ton of classes and I recently fell in love with two classes that are only at night. A little hesitant to start this because I was like is this gonna mess up my sleep schedule and all of that but in fact it actually made me fall asleep so much faster so I'll come home I'm already kind of tired I'll make dinner my muscles are sore I just worked out I just burned a ton of calories and it's kind of funny maybe the lighting makes a difference like because I'm taking the class at night and it's dark but in the morning after a workout I have so much energy like after my shower in the morning like after I get home from my workout I'm just like hello world hello but after a night workout I don't have that energy effect instead I'm actually the opposite I'm tired I'm like oh my god I just want to lay in bed Okay, so after I eat dinner, I go upstairs and I take my shower. But first, before we get into the shower and what I wanna say about that and tip number two, is notice that my bed is made. This is, like an, this is like a bonus tip. If you saw my How To Be A Morning Person, I mentioned that the University of Texas had this whole speech. It went on to say that you will have a much more productive day if you make your bed and that night you will sleep so well knowing that you're sleeping in a made bed. And one thing I wanna say about that is it is so true with getting to bed on time, getting to bed early is you feel amazing in a made bed. As people, we love to be nurtured, we love to feel safe, we love to be cozy and comfortable, and a made bed makes us feel all that, and we sleep so much better. Would you rather come home to like a dirty bed and sheets all over the place, or a nice, beautiful made bed? The speech does go on to say that no matter how your day went, so if your day went completely crappy, or if it went amazing, either way you come home to a made bed. But that was just kind of a bonus tip, because that tip is actually applied in the morning. Tip number two is to shower or take a bath but something hot something that makes you like ready to crawl into bed and if you really want to do the most use a certain body wash that you're only going to use at night so when I get in the shower I use this eucalyptus nighttime body wash. The reason why I'm saying this is that's become my routine I associate that scent with nighttime now people that use that scent in the morning they might associate that with like morning like energy vibrance but me I associate that smell with nighttime sleepy time, going to sleep, and all of that. The reason why I bring up scents and how scents are so important, you know when you smell certain things and it brings you to your past or it brings you to a certain time in your life or it could remind you of a certain person? Like scents are like muscle memory, right? Like when you smell a certain thing, it could bring you right back to that time. Like I know when I'm in the Jersey Shore and I smell the ocean, I think of my childhood. I think of being in New York and driving to the Jersey Shore with my family. I really associate that smell with my family and being a kid. And even though I go there every year now as an adult, I still smell being a kid, you know what I mean? So it doesn't matter what you use, whether it's essential oils, candles, or body wash, have some sort of a scent trigger that makes you wanna to go to sleep. My third tip is to have a routine. I get into my pajamas, I like to lay them out, and a lot of you guys know that I really do love wearing cute pajamas to bed. 
For me, it's like once I get out of my day clothes and put on my pajamas, I already feel like, okay, I'm in bedtime mode. You know what I mean? Like, it's something so simple, but think about when you were a kid, you know, you would take a bath and then get into your PJs. It's not that PJs instantly put you in like a sleepy time mood or something like that, but it's all about the association. That's what it is with this stuff. It's giving you good habits and overall getting you into a routine. So if you want to have better habits, the best way to build habits is to have a routine. So the minute I get out of the shower, I always like to lay out my pajamas. When I think of PJs, I think of dreaming. It's so funny, like that that's my association. But at the end of the day, it's a routine. It doesn't matter how simple it is or how like stupid it might sound. And to build better habits, you have to have a strong routine, something that you do over and over again, something that you repeat. Okay, so then once I'm in my PJs, I like to go downstairs and make a cup of tea. I think overall like hot things remind me of sleeping. I've never been like a morning tea person or even like an afternoon tea person. I've always been like a nighttime tea person. One thing I wanna point out here is you wanna make sure you're buying herbal tea. Some teas do have caffeine in it and you don't wanna do that before bed. I am a caffeine person, I, you guys know. If you watch my channel for even more than a second, you already know I am a huge coffee drinker. So what I like to do is I like to stop drinking coffee after 3 p.m. I just noticed that that's my cutoff time. Like if I want an afternoon cup of coffee or like a soda or something that has caffeine in it or like an energy drink or something, I know if it's after 3 p.m p.m. I'm gonna be up all night or I'm gonna have a hard time falling to sleep and even though I go to bed at 9 9 30 you would think it would like wear off by then but for my body I just must be sensitive to it it does not so after I have my tea I will bring it over to the couch and I'll watch a show a movie or a YouTube video and my tip here is to one watch something out of your bedroom. So my dad actually taught me this tip when I was in college and he came to visit me in college. He was like, all of your books and your studying and stuff is all in your bed. Have you been doing homework in your bed? Yes, actually I have. Remember him teaching and explaining to me that you wanna associate your bed with sleep time, not with work, not with TV shows. So at night when I wanna watch something or if I would need to catch up on editing or something like that, I will do it downstairs. I will do it out of my bedroom. That way I don't associate my bed with like staying up all night and binge watching TV shows. You can ask my boyfriend, this annoys the crap out of him. He'll always wanna watch a show in bed. He's like, let's cuddle and watch our favorite show. And I'm like, no, I have to watch it downstairs. Now, occasionally on like a Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon, I'll catch up on shows in bed and it's like not a big deal. But at night, you definitely wanna do any homework or studying or watching TV or whatever you do in your free time. You wanna do it outside of your bedroom. Okay, so tip number six, before bed, you wanna write in your planner or make like a little casual to-do list like I'm doing here on notes on my phone. And that way, anything you have to do tomorrow morning, it's out of your brain. You're not gonna forget. It's already written down. And that way you go to sleep without feeling anxious or anxiety about, you know, like right now it's Sunday. You know, we could all have Sunday scaries. Like, oh no, Monday, what do I have to do? Next tip is to read a book before bed. Reading at night gets me so tired. I'm just like, I like start falling asleep with like the book in my hand. Actually, one of my New Year's resolutions this year to read more books, especially at night, because one, I get a really good like deep night sleep. And two, I get my reading in because I'll say I'll read during the day or like a chapter in the morning. I never do. Another thing you could do here is you can meditate. You can listen to meditating music. I will leave this one guy down below in my description box. He makes amazing like before bed meditations that you could do with really good music. And you just like, you will literally pass out while listening to him. He's great. But I also get that same feeling of like, I'm about to pass out from reading at night. Now this is a personal opinion. Not everyone is going to relate to this or want to do this, but I do sleep with the air on. I do live in Southern California. So sometimes it's colder in my house than it is outside. So opening a window, even in the winter, just won't always work. It'll still be like hot outside. I have to sleep with air. I need to sleep cold. I find that I get the best night's sleep sleeping cold. It's really hard for me to sleep hot. It's funny because I like to sleep with like a ton of blankets, but I do like to be cold. And I once read an article that people that sleep with air on or a window open or just like have like breezy, you know, air going on, that you actually wake up less than a person that sleeps hot or a person that kind of sleeps in like I think of it like a clammy temperature. It's like kind of, it's not hot, it's not cold, it's like clammy. If you haven't tried this, definitely try it. I sleep so good and I love to be like all cozy in my PJs and all my blankets. The next thing 
I do is I set my alarm, I plug in my phone, and I turn my phone face down. This way, if anyone texts me or, you know, I get a notification or something, I don't see the light blinking. I'm really sensitive to that at night. Like, I could wake up, like, if there's, like, a light in the window or something like that, I, like, wake right up. And then the last thing that I do is I always sleep with a fan. I also got my boyfriend into this as well. We both sleep with fans, and this way it drowns out noise. I love to sleep with, like, some sort of noise going on, like the fan, or when I was in college, our air conditioner had, like, this, like, loud, like, rickety noise and at first the first night I slept there I was like oh no this is gonna suck the whole year but I ended up loving it and I actually miss it like I used to get the best night's sleep in college it's funny because even when I sleep at a hotel or something I always ask like do you guys have fans they're always like yes there's always someone that asks for a fan but yeah those are all my best tips and kind of my routine on how I get to bed early another thing to get to bed early is overall just reducing stress in general and everyone kind of takes out their stress in different ways like for me it's definitely working out or it's cooking like I love to come home and cook it's just like I'm only thinking about cooking or when I'm working out I'm only thinking about working out and it gives my mind peace and time to just relax from all the 70,000 thoughts that we think in a day so figure out how you can reduce stress and I promise you will sleep like a baby so I love you guys so much comment down below what are your best tips for going to bed early is there anything that you like to do I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow bye